It's been a while, it's been requested a lot and now we're doing it. I actually forgot how to play this, I had to study it back and I used the tabs that I wrote back in the day when I did the song. So you can download them for free below. You can follow with them this tutorial. Before we start, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Into The AM. They sent me some t-shirts, including this one, roll the clips. You can find the link in the description to their shop. I also have a discount code for you. Okay, it's in the description below. Please check them out because they're really great people and they have really crazy prints and um, very different. So you can find really anything that matches your, uh, your taste, I think. Okay, so let's start. First of all, you need to detune the E string to D. This is a D. So you can get this. The rest of the strings is standard tuning, but this one is D. Okay, let's start. The main riff. Go to the seventh fret of the fourth string. Seventh fret D string. This is an A. And you pick this and you go to the bottom string. Okay. Next part. It's so, okay, now you repeat the same thing, but on the fifth thread of the fourth string. So it's... This is how I do it. Fourth string, which is the D string. Third fret, second fret. Then you jump to the fifth string, which is the A string. 5th fret, 3rd fret, so this is kind of a descending scale, descending D minor scale that starts from the F and goes, uh, and goes down to the C. So you glue this together, you get the basic main riff. So the riff goes on and what changes is that instead of using the bottom string as your pedal, you get to a B flat. So instead of the D, you use the B flat as the pedal. So now you can play this in different ways. I play it here on the first fret of the fifth string. But you could also play it here on the eighth fret of the bottom string. It's up to you. It goes like this. So everything is the same. It's just that this note changes. Instead of the bottom string, it's the uh, B flat. So if you glue everything together, it goes like this. Okay. Melody. Two notes at the same time. You start from the D. Fifth. You start from the D. Fifth string. Fifth fret. And you also hit the an octave above D, which is seventh string. Third. Seventh string, guys. Which is the G string at the seventh fret. Now the trick is to play both of them with one stroke, but muting the string in the middle. So it's like this. This one is mute, and the third rings out. Everything else is muted. Only these two are playing, but you need to strum everything to get the sound. So you start from here. The basic shape is the same. You just slide up and down the neck to make the other notes. So from here, you go to the 12th fret, which is an A. Okay? Same shape, same story. 
you strum only two notes to come out, but you strum all the strings. This is how you get that sound. So it goes from the D. This is the whole melody. Oh yeah. So, as I was saying, starts from the D at the fifth fret on the fifth string. You get the octave there, okay? Then you slide to the twelfth to the twelfth fret, and then to the eight to the eight to the ten. So it goes from okay, and then from the eight to the seven to the fifth. Okay. Okay, now the melody goes on. It's there is another part. The first part is the same as before, so it goes fifth to twelfth fret with the same shape. And then here it changes. Fifteenth and fourteenth fret. Tenth, twelfth fret. Okay. So all together it goes. Okay, this is the basic melody. Now what I do on top of this is I play other notes with the with another track, which goes like this. It's always the same story. You now you will learn a shape, one thing that you have to do, and you just have to do it in several places to play the melody. B string, D note, third fret. Then you put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the G string together and you bend the G string up one full step. So it goes like this. You need to play both strings at the same time. The index stays still. The ring finger bends one full step, okay? And you just do the same, the pattern that you just did before, okay, from here. So you just go from the D, in this way you, you're playing two Ds. One is this, and one is this. So it's it's the same, it get, it, but it gives you that very cool effect. So it goes from here to the A, which is at the 10th fret. Six, eight, six, five, three. I'm referring to the index, to where it's the index as before. Then again, the melody goes on and it changes. Okay, so third, ten, and then it goes thirteenth, twelve. 8, 10. So as you can see, it's the same melody, it's just doubling it. So if you want, if you're playing alone, you, you can also download the backing track in the link below. Okay, you can do whatever you want on top of this, play whatever part you want to play. Okay, so this is the melody. Basic melody, simple, nothing special. Now we go on to the next part, okay? When it changes and it goes like this. So what it is here? It's the same trick as before, the double band here, and you have a double stop, I don't know how it's called, but um, basically from the 6th fret you go to the 3rd, then from the 6th again to the 5th, and then again from the 6th to the 3rd. So it's very simple, it's uh, two things. First, and 
again. And he does it twice. What I do in the track is I double it the second time around with um, the same notes but one octave higher. So I do the same trick but on the first and second string. So what you do is start from the 13th fret and you put your finger, the index finger there. E string, 13th fret and the ring finger on the B string, 16th fret and you bend up the B string. So it's the same basically. What it is? You just go like this. 13th fret, 10th fret, 13, 12, 15th, 10. And that's it. Now you want another chord to play behind this? Barry chord on the 5th fret on the bottom strings, this is a G. Then it goes to an A, which is 7th fret, D. This is an open D. Then the second time it goes, same G. Then it goes to this. What is this? This is a D sharp. And then it goes to A again. And then it goes. Let's do again this part with the melody, which I will hum while I play the chords. And then it starts again with the riff. On this I did a solo, but you can do whatever you want. What I do in the solo? In the solo, I just use the D minor scale, which is, and I play it up here. This is the scale, okay? Now, just a little trick to improvise on this, okay? If you just get here, which is the 20th fret on your guitar, the B string, and you just bend one full step, you get a really good place to start on this song, to solo over the riff. And then you fall back on the... You bend, you fall back on the 20th, you go on the 18th fret, and then you close on the G string at the 19th fret. Okay, this is a very cool thing that you can do. You can also bend up from the 20th. You can use the same trick as before. You get this um, index finger here on the 17th fret. And you bend the B string like we did before. Okay, if you know the scale, you can do these things up and down the, the scale. Same thing on the B string, okay. And then to close it off, E string, 20th fret, bend up, full step, you get to the D, high D. And what I did in the track is I did a uh, one, uh, one full step and a half bend at the end. So I go one step from the 22nd fret. Then uh, from there I even go higher up one half step. And then I go back. So you got, you kind of make it sing, okay? So, thank you everyone. That was it. I also did recently the Sadness and Sorrow video, go check it out. Also check me out on Spotify, Apple Music, you can find all my music there. You can find all the artists I am producing, all my collaborations with other people. Guys, things are getting crazier and crazier by the day. Thanks again to Into The AM for supporting my channel. And guys, 
Suggest me what you want to see here. Okay, suggest me what you want to see. What do you want to see? Huh? What? That's it, guys. See you soon. See you soon, guys.